Boom! I can make things now! First things first, I make boards. Stupid thing. Stupid sorting. Boards! Boards! I made boards! Are you proud of me? I made boards. I made chest! Yay, chest! Boom, I have chest. Okay, now I can put some stuff in here. I don't need the fire staff right now. That'll be useful though, I like I'm glad I got that. And I even got I even got a red gem and some hounds teeth off because it was right by a pig farm. I could let the pigs take care of it. So that was lucky. Uh, no, no use taking up space there. Chester, give me your stuff. That rope would be useful. I'm gonna need that rope for something, I'm sure. Enter a stone. Actually, a stone I might want to keep with me. Because it could be good to bring to have stone with me. Uh, manure, put that away. And spider glands, I'll keep those with me. Nitro, I don't need. Sleep darts, wouldn't hurt. Glands, hat, gem, I don't need, but... I don't really have anything else to... The petals I'll, I'll keep in Chester because... That way I'll have them with my garland breaks. Red gem. The, and the fire staff, since I have so much else that I need to put away. The fire staff I'll keep with me just... In case I do I come across something I want to use a fire staff on. This I'll plant. Chester, do you have anything else in here you can put away? Um... No, no, you're good. I shall go plant some trees. I think I'll plant them down here. Yeah. Can't plant. 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 I'm planting things it's better to plant them down than up, because up they'll get in the way of each other. Okay, I have ropes with in this chest I could use for stuff. What can I use them for, you may ask? Well, one thing I could... Spear. Me have weapon! Uh, backpack. Yes, want that. Nice. Uh, straw roll. I'm good. Um, tools. Shovel. Yes. Uh, pitchfork. Nah. Razor. No. Refine. Rope. Nah. Structures. Hay wall. No. Okay, I think I'm good on this for now. Hmm. Hmm. Don't have enough grass to get up my first farm. That'd be good if I could get a farm going this early. That'd be pretty cool. I haven't found none of those. Nothing that would drop gears though. So. Can't get um, uh, can't get an ice box. That's that's not great. Wow, Cameron, where are you going? Um, I do actually do have this road over here through the wormhole. So yeah, I'll probably explore that tomorrow. That's where I'll go and explore. Let's see the way. Birdie. And then I'll see where that goes. Hopefully I can find uh, something that I can get some, maybe some marble from and gears. Best bet would be if I could find the location of the wooden thing. Which I had, I think, three components of the for the wooden thing in the last world. But I never found the wooden thing itself. Oh, I'm waiting. I'll chop down some charcoal. And the wooden thing now is surrounded by like a large base. There's like three uh, enemies called bishops that like shoot lightning bolts at you, or two actually, and there's like four of those clockwork knights, those are those horses that attack you, and a bunch of marble, marble pillars, marble trees, I don't want to set anything on fire so I should light up. <laughs> 
equip jump. Less time I can have the miners hat on my head, the better. And there's also, as you probably expect, a lot of evil flowers. I forget if I had explained this or not, but I'm not doing anything else right now anyways. What the wooden thing is, is if you get all four components, this isn't survival. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> if you get all four, all four of the components, take it to the wooden thing and activate it, you can go to a new world. You will keep anything in your inventory, but you'll go to a new world. And it, so that could be good if you're like tired of your world or if you're running out of resources you can bring with you some of your whatever resources you can carry Chester you cannot bring with him with you and then you can go to a new world to get more resources like if you survived a long time you might start running out of resources and you need resources to survive and that'd be a way you could just go to a new world to get more resources you can't go back though you cannot go back so it's like you can go to a new world and go back to your first one now that you have more resources. You cannot do that. But in adventure mode, the wooden things are like your objective. Uh, wooden, using a wooden thing will progress you from one level to the next. And basically what you have to do each, each world, your objective is to collect the pieces of the wooden thing and then progress to the next while surviving with the, whatever unique challenges are thrown your way in that world. Yeah, these do not have the gold lines like the other ones did. These are just regular stripes, like cuts. So I could see the gold inside them. I, don't, I think that's new. Yeah, I don't... I actually think that might... No, I don't know if that has gold. I have enough for now anyways. I'm not gonna bother mining more. I'm just following this row, see where it goes. An adventure mode is pretty cool. I will... Oh, yes! Yes! Look what we have here. We have a walrus camp. I'm not going in there. Yuck. That'll be good when once there's winter. I want to set up a base around there before winter hits. I have some hound's teeth, so I can set up hound's teeth. Oh, we have another one up here. Oh, oh tall birds, tall birds. Hello! Another walrus camp up there. Uh, I think close enough to mark it on the map. Am I close enough? Am I close enough? There we go. I want to make sure it's marked on the map because if I record this, then don't play for a couple days and. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, there's no one here. Oh, if this could be good if I could. If I went to this one, there's so many tall birds here. <laughs> they could fight the walrus for me. Ah, get off me. Get off me. Get all, all of that might not be good. That might actually be bad to go for because. Hey, don't attack Chester! Stupid tall birds. Um, the walrus, uh, the the Mac Mac Tusk, the dad of the walrus group, he is ranged. He's a ranged attacker. So, if something comes at him immediately, he's gonna back off unless he gets really close where he'll just punch it. But if those things are chasing him, I had this trouble once. I first, first of all, the wiki said, um, bring pigs with you to make the battle easier. I thought, okay, that makes sense. I brought pigs with me, and when I got to the Mc McTusk family, which is McTusk, the father who has a blow dart, Wee Tusk, which I think he he might also use a blow dart. I'm not exactly sure, and two ice hounds. The pigs went towards McTusk and basically chased him off. I finished off Wee Tusk and the hounds myself. And I just had to like hunt for, hunt down where the stupid pigs chased Mac Tusk off to, and they did end up killing him. But I had to hunt it down and find where the loot was. So what I did next time I fought him, which is the time that I told you about where things were going really well, I killed him, got both the hat and the walrus tusk, but then didn't even make it because I encountered two spider queens and then died and blah blah blah. I said that already. But what I did that time was, I brought pigs with me. I think two pigs. But what I did, the second I seen them, I clicked attack on one of the hounds. Okay, so by doing that, it tells the pigs to attack that target. So now the pigs are taking care of the hounds. While they're doing that, I take care of Mac Tusk. I dodge his attacks best I can. 
and then use my boomerang to take care of him. It worked out really well. The pigs dealt with the hounds, they ended up dealing with Wee Tusk too, if I'm pretty sure. And I was able to take down Mac Tusk with my boomerang. I actually brought two because I wasn't sure with how much damage it does if he would survive. I thought I might, my boomerang may break and I might need another one, but I only end up using... The one boomerang actually didn't even break yet. Just one thing you have to be careful with that, doing that tactic if you're using a boomerang, is first of all, remember to grab it. But if you, well, the, the thing I had a little trouble with sometimes was, at the time I would have to stand still and be ready to grab the boomerang was the time he was getting ready to shoot a dart at me. So I would either try to move and dodge the dart and get hit by the boomerang, or stand and grab the, catch the boomerang and get hit by the dart. So just be careful about when you, about when you throw the, when you throw a boomerang to try to make sure it's at a time where when it's on its way back you can stand there and be ready to catch it without having to worry about getting hit by the dart. But it's not a really hard battle if you're careful. And you can get some really good stuff from it. Seeds. Oh wait. I need more grass is all I need. For I can get my first speedy farm plot. I could actually... Actually, actually, actually I need the alchemy engine. Actually I need 10. Actually, yes, actually. I was thinking it was 8, I guess. But I need the alchemy engine for that anyways. Which means I would need more wood, which is probably what I'll work on tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean a few days from now. Because I'm going to be wrapping it up after this night. I'll grab a little more charcoal. Just yeah. And I'm not sure, maybe next time I I start up, like next time I play, I will just head towards the door and I may do some adventure mode. Oh, think about that. Because like I said, there's no penalty to your survival if you die in adventure mode. But if I, like, say, I'll wait till later to do adventure mode, but then die in, in my survival, I still can't get to the door then. So if I want to try adventure mode, it's better to try it earlier. Do it earlier, that way I can get my shot at adventure mode and before I mess something up and die in survival. <laughs> oh. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. Add fuel. Cook food. Yum, yum, yum. Getting a little low on food. I got a bunch of seeds I could eat if, I, if necessary, but tomorrow hopefully I can grab some more. Next time I play, next day. Really, what? I, next time I play, what I really should do is actually the alchemy engine. Um, yeah, if I get more wood, I can get the farm plot going, which would be a good could be a source of food. I, you get one, like a thing per day of food from the farm plot, so that could be good. But I still don't have a, I don't have a ice box to put the food in, and I fully explored this road, and that did not lead to anything. There's supposed to be a bishop guarding this door, which drops a purple gem when killed, which is a combination of blue and red gem, is how you normally get it, unless you give him an enemy, and you need it to make the shadow manipulator. There, I've seen like three of these, went in none of them, and there's never been a bishop guarding the door. Not once. Never. Still got two rope from that dead, dead from that one dead guy I found. I don't know why I'm finding so many skeletons in this world. <laughs> it's weird. Eh. I guess I'm going to start now. So yeah, this will be the end of this session of Don't Starve. I ended up dying as Wilson, but I started New World. New World. So far, this one seems to be going pretty well. Starting this one as Willow. So I hope you enjoyed more of my Don't Starve Let's Play. Next day, I may start up Adventure Mode. I'm not exactly sure. I'll think about it more next time I play. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.